Hi everyone, today we're going to take a look at this rechargeable emergency light sold by Omni. Now this sells for 150 pesos, which is around 3 US dollars and around £2 or £2.50. And it's actually a really, really good quality product. I mean, you come to expect that from Omni anyway, but I was surprised at just how high quality this is considering the low price. So how does it work? Well, it's got the button on the top, press it once and that is the low setting. Press it again, that's the high setting. Press it again, it's off. Now the low and high setting may have looked identical on the camera because the camera is automatically adjusting based on the amount of light, but there is a noticeable difference between the low and high setting. Now if we look at the specs here, it says the internal battery is 700 milliamp hour and the power output is 1.5 watts. So the LED is 1.5 watts, but I can tell you it's really quite bright and the battery is lithium. I don't know if it's lithium ion or lithium polymer, but it is lithium, it's not a lead acid battery. And as for how long it runs, it says it can run on the high brightness setting for three hours or the low brightness setting for six hours. And it says the charging time is six hours, but I'm not sure if that's accurate because the way you recharge this is with the micro USB charge cable that they include in the kit. And you can see here it says five volt, one amp input. So I'd be very surprised if this really takes six hours to charge, especially if it's only a 700 milliamp hour battery. So that's something I'll have to put to the test. It also has a DC barrel jack input here, and it says it can handle anywhere from five to seven volts. So potentially you could buy one of those small solar panels and then feed it in here and recharge it like that. So pretty nifty little device. Now you may notice there's a mark here and there's some marks here. That's where I've been trying to open it up. Um, I really want to take a look inside this thing and see what kind of battery it has and what kind of circuitry. Um, is it gonna be an 18650 battery? Is it gonna be like a lithium polymer cell? Um, I'm really not sure. Now it is big enough that it could have an 18650 inside, but I suspect it doesn't because 700 milliamp hour is pretty low capacity. I mean, it's still perfectly fine if this can really run for three hours or six hours on its low setting. So it's still perfectly fine for this application, but I wanna open it up and take a look. Now, when you buy it in the store, it actually has this little cap taped over the button. And I suspect the reason for that is they don't want people, like customers, turning them on and then walking away and leaving the battery to drain. Um, so it does come with this little protective cap. I guess you could also leave it on there if you wanted to put this in your bag and you're worried about it automatically turning on. But I don't think that would happen because it takes quite a lot of force to actually turn this thing on. Now, when I bought this, it was pretty much fully charged already. But if we plug it into my USB watt meter here, let me show you what happens. So you can see right now it's drawing 0.1 amp. But if I turn it on, let me face it away. You can see it's drawing 0.2 amp. And if I put it on the high setting, it's drawing 0.3 amp or 1.5 watts. And what that means is that when you plug this into a power bank or into the wall or anything like that, it's actually drawing power through the USB port instead of from the battery. So that's actually really good because that means you can have this plugged in and you can have it turned on emitting light, but the battery inside will still be fully charged. Now, as I mentioned earlier, I have actually tried to open this thing up and I have a feeling that the only way to get into this is to actually damage it, which is a shame because this is a really, really nice product. It just feels solid. The light it emits is pretty bright. It can take power through the USB while emitting light and charging the battery. It's just a really, really nice product, but I have to have a look inside. So I am gonna open this up and I suspect it's gonna cause a lot of damage. But what I'm also gonna do is run this on the high setting and see if we really get three hours of light. So the good news is I managed to open it without causing any damage, but this does not look like a lithium battery to me. That looks suspiciously like a lead acid battery. Now, if we look at the back here, it clearly says 700 milliamp hour lithium battery, but I've never seen a lithium battery that looks like that. Um, so I'm thinking, let's check the voltage and see what kind of voltage we get. Maybe that will give us a clue. 4.2 volts. Well, I mean, that is right for a lithium battery. So what a weird design. I wonder why they put it in this hard plastic case. I've never seen a lithium battery like this before. On here it says 70216, but otherwise I don't think it has any markings. Well anyway, now we've got it open, let's also take a look at the board. There's really not too much to see. 
you can see the blue and yellow wire there is going to the LED strip at the front. Then all we've got here is a really big push button because it's got two different states for the low and high setting. And then, well, not even much on board for the charging. Well, I'm not sure what to say. I was expecting to see some kind of charge controller chip on here, but it doesn't appear to have one. Um, very curious. So the mystery continues. I went on to Google and searched for 700 milliamp hour lead acid battery. And some of these look suspiciously similar to the one that we found in this Omni product. I mean, look at that. That looks identical to the battery that we saw. And it says, 4 volt lead acid rechargeable flashlight battery. I think they lied on this. I don't think it's lithium at all. <sighs> one of the reasons why I bought this is because it says it has a lithium battery. And the problem with lead acid batteries is they just go bad after like a certain amount of time. Not even that long. Normally you only get like a year out of them. And this is not lithium at all by the looks of it. It looks like it's actually lead acid. So I've had the light going for about two and a half hours now on the high setting and it's much dimmer than when it started. If I plug it into a power bank you'll see that it suddenly gets much brighter. See that? Um, so it might make it to the three hours that it claims but it's significantly dimmer to the point where it's really not producing that much usable light anymore. So yeah, I'll continue the test and see if we really do get three hours out of it, but you should know that it gets much dimmer after, probably after an hour and a half, to be honest. So it's been three hours and the light is still on, but it's barely generating anything worthwhile. If you're in a pitch black room, it might be useful, but otherwise it's really not really anything notable. Um, so it can handle three hours on the high setting, but after an hour and a half, it's pretty dim. Uh, but now that the battery's depleted, we can check this input. It says five volt, one amp. So let's see if it really does meet that. So I've got it connected to my USB watt meter and we can see it's drawing 0 0.1 amp. Um, so <laughs> I don't know what to say. It's quite clearly not five volts, one amp. It's like a fraction of that. And it doesn't surprise me because they say it's a six hour charge time. Plus, it appears to be a lead acid battery rather than lithium. So I guess we knew that had to be untrue about the 5 volt 1 amp input. <sighs> okay, so what can we say about this? Honestly, I wouldn't recommend buying it. Um, it is cheap, 150 pesos, but it's probably not going to last that long. It's a lead acid battery, a four volt lead acid battery, and they're notorious for not lasting very long. They're the same type of battery that are used in like insect rackets and other like super, super cheap rechargeable flashlights and stuff like that. They just don't last. Um, and with this where you're gonna be like heavily discharging it, I mean, this doesn't even seem to have a cutoff. Uh, it's still going even though the battery is so low. So it's probably going to drain the battery to like a really dangerous level to the point where it's going to struggle to recharge itself. Um, I don't think it's worth the money, honestly. It is cheap and it's a really nice design. Like it's solid. They've used high quality plastic. They've got really nice diffused LED light. Switch is really nice. It's just like on the outside it appears really good but when you realize that it has a lead acid battery and that it's going to charge so 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 slowly it really seems to be lacking in the circuitry side of things um i wouldn't really recommend it i'd probably recommend you just buy a cheap power bank from cdr king and then some of these little usb lights and yeah just do something like that because lead acid i mean really it's just not it's not worth it. Don't waste your money. Um, I'm going to try and return this to Ace Hardware. I don't know what they're going to say because it does have some marks where I've opened it. Um, but it's clearly being missold where they're claiming it's a lithium battery. And I'm quite disappointed because Omni normally make really good products. And if this one is mislabeled or missold, how about that other products? It makes you wonder. Um, so if you have any questions, put it in the comment section down below. And if you enjoyed this video, please give a thumbs up and subscribe. Thanks for watching.